The macrobiotic way is the perfect opportunity to maintain an optimal way of health and lifestyle, to prevent disease, illness, and even cancer action steps that are really easy. Some of the things that you can just start by doing, start exploring fruits and vegetables, different grains, different legumes, different nuts, different seeds. There are so many hundreds of thousands of different types of foods on the planet. You don't have to do much to enjoy these foods. You know, when we have, when we are consuming animal products, if you think about it, we add vegetables, herbs, spices, salt from the earth, from the sea, to make it taste palatable to us. Well, when we eat legumes and we eat vegetables and grains, it naturally has the minerals and the nutrients and the salts and the different types of flavor on each one. So it hits our taste buds differently. You know, try eating a little bit more fruits and vegetables. If you're already doing that, expand, you know, through the different food groups and see what you like. The second thing is get curious. Notice how you feel when you eat these types of foods and does it give you energy? Does it make you feel sluggish? You know, choose the types of foods that really resonate with your body and especially the ones that taste good to you because everybody has different palates. The more fruits, vegetables, legumes, grains, nuts and seeds that you eat, the more that your palate will change because what it's doing is you're detoxifying your tongue first and then it goes throughout your entire body and then you'll really start to taste the plants that you're eating. Right now, if you're not eating so many plants, you're gonna miss you know, the salt, the fat, the oil. You're gonna miss that heavy, heavy season type and we're meant to enjoy foods as they are. Education. There's several different sites that you can go to, nutritionfacts.org, PCRM, um, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Um, you can go to Dr. Esselstyn's website. You can go to Dr. McDougall's website. Um, there's so many whole food plant-based doctors and experts out there that are really going to show you the scientific data um, behind this lifestyle and why it's good for you and what it does to your body and how it helps to the environment. Really getting educated on, you know, animal, industrial animal farming and factory farming. Um, unfortunately, those animals, those beings, they're not treated very well. Unfortunately, they don't even see the light of day and they're totally confined in cages that they can't even turn around. So they live as prisoners up until the day of their death. And we're then consuming that energy and that life into our body. And we may think that it doesn't really do anything to us, but it actually does. And that's why we get disease. So you can find all of that kind of educational information on those websites. Next thing, would be community. Start seeking out people that are living the kind of lifestyle that you want to. And there are people out there. You know, there's this joke amongst the vegan or whole food plant-based community that, you know, I'm the only vegan that I know. And that used to be true for me um, when I first started, but then I kept connecting and connecting and connecting and moving forward and forward. And, and the thing is, is that when you know that you want something, and you can see it, visualize it, you end up naturally attracting those people into your life. And you can, you can make that choice for yourself on a daily basis. So I would, I would suggest those things for you, just little, like, little by little. Take it as baby steps so you don't feel overwhelmed and you'll get to where you wanna be.